Continue. Right, right. The fucking. So anyway, the kid. We've always done like the classic headbutt style, where you put the hand on the forehead and you fucking yeah. shit in the head. But yeah. Well, he put. I put my hand on, on his head and then I'll go. Ur, you know. Yeah. So I'll be sitting in my recliner, just chilling, doing dad shit. And then he just come over the top and blow. No, he walks up all nice and polite. And he goes, I'm going to give you a headbutt. And so he puts his hand on my head. And I'm like, okay, cool. So he'll headbutt me. And he backs up. And Rob, he takes this little fucking meatball, this little fucking pork chop fist that he's got. And he doesn't, like, punch me, like, follow through. He just kind of puts his arm out and leans into me really hard into my belly. And it fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Is real bad. Like I tell him all the time, like, God damn, dude. Because he gets like, here's the jiggly part of my belly. And then there's like the upper part that's still kind of muscly because I pick shit up all day. Mm -hmm. He'll just like get in there. He just goes like, mm. <laughs> like you're testing a couch cushion. It's fucked up. <laughs> Calls you the jiggly puff. He's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Baymax to him. Little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you say? Uh, are you satisfied with your care? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good ass movie. I do, dude. He he really enjoyed it, and it was one of the first Disney movies that I got him to watch all the way through. And he I lost my top. Well, yeah, you popped it off. All right, I got it. <laughs> what is this goofy fucking streaming shit? I haven't heard of this one. I was setting up fucking Streamyard when you uh, hit me up. <laughs> oh, this is um, a restream. I had Streamyard and everything. And uh, this compared to that, I like this way better. It looks better, to be honest with you. The other one's kind of clunky. Yeah. Uh, StreamYard is fairly new. I don't know how long this one's been around, but like shit, just about every month or so, or even every other month, I'm getting up updates about, hey, we added this new feature. Hey, we added this new thing. You can do yeah. this thing. Like, um, I think a feature in here is to where, like, say you're on Zoom. I could pull your Zoom shit into this. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can just like bring it all. That's what Mike needs. You need to show him this. Which uh, we found out. Okay. What the fuck was that? I'm sorry. I was trying to see <laughs> my audacity. I had something in here. I wanted to make the sure. audacity of you to be doing other shit. <laughs> what? I'm making room. I'm going to turn on my recording softwares. Well, I'm recording right now. I can just send you a copy. I record too. Remember, we've been doing this the same amount of time. We do the same shit. <laughs> But this is doing it for me. I know. I don't like uh, the fucking audio, though. You don't? Hmm. It's it's weird, man. Like, the best audio is when you do double, like, local recording and you fucking marry them together. There's just uh, sometimes the, across the internet audio can be a little weird. Yeah. It, it This, it gives you options. So, like, it'll record the video separate. Then it'll record all the audio together. And then it'll separate my audio from your audio. Nice. So you can do your whole little uh, rub the titties together and get the good picture. So is this one of those fucking like uh, you got to pay for it to get all the bonus shit? Like, is this something that you have or is this like for I some? I pay for it? Yeah, but we get, um, to get all I, the cool shit. That's why I was asking. Like, it's like you know? the base level is the base level is uh, similar to StreamYard, but this one um you get to it'll record all the shit for you. I forget how StreamYard's basic is, but. I believe this basic is just a tad bit more better than the stream yard. That's why I floated over this way. Nice. I like it. Are you broadcasting to shit or are you just? I can. Right now, they got two separate studios. So there's just a studio to where we can come in here record and don't have to worry about no live shit. And then there's the live studio to where I can put into Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and a whole slew of other shit they got on there. Yeah, well, nice. I don't know. Like, that's the thing is when I hit you up, I just wanted to talk to you. I don't know. Are we doing your show or my show? Because we're we talking about things. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's really basically different. what it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fuck it. You You've been going to a, quite a few uh, wrestling shows or attempting to or whatever. What's that been like? Uh-oh. What did, you, what did you do? That was you, bro. I got full bars. <laughs> I didn't do anything. You need to go tell your fucking kid to stop watching Halloween movies and shit. Uh, actually, that's what they're doing right now. <laughs> I know. They're eating up the bandwidth. <laughs> nah. I'm going to get some like, new like internet a... cables that I saw, the ones that are like gold tipped. Yeah, what is it? It's like an the... eight series eight or whatever the fuck, a cap. I'm going to get that shit. They look great. Hey, man, you got to be careful with that shit, though, because like um, 
what I found out about like uh probably not so much the HDMI cables or whatever, but like the Ethernet cables or whatever. Yeah. Um I got this uh the, the Euro thing, you know, those little pod joints for your internet or whatever. I think so. Anyway, this is like I hook them up to my router and I can place the little pods all over the house and everything to amplify. Oh, okay, the yeah. Wi Fi yeah, boosters. The, yeah, them joints. So I had issues with them in the beginning because I had the original series and then they came out with a new series. So I was like, man, I can get all the power in my house. I'll just mm-hmm. hook up the old ones and the new ones together because they're compatible. No. So it was doing real garbage in the house. <laughs> Internet was dropping. All the apps were not working and everything yeah. like that. So I'm on the line with their customer service and they're like, um, are they fighting with each other basically? Yeah, exactly. He's like, I'm, I'm looking at your network, man. And it's just like, you got too much shit going on. You're like eight goddamn pods on here fighting. He's for like, you got a Ferrari trying to ride around in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. That's exactly his phrasing. I didn't make that up. <laughs> That's good. Well, at least you knew. Like, I thought about doing that shit, but my house isn't that big. And I just, I like the cable because I know it's hardwired. So I got me like a hundred foot, but it's a cat six. So it's not really, it's just for baseline streaming. And now they've got these ones that like are for gaming and whatnot. So you run them heavy duty motherfuckers. And uh, yeah, so, supposed to give you like four times the resolution and shit. Yeah, to get, to, I'll get back to them cables though. But like, I have this twenty seven hundred square feet, so I got three pods running the whole house with no problem. Yeah, that's that's all the devices, all the computers, all the cell phones, all the streaming apps, Fire Sticks, all them shits, and they work. That's pretty awesome. good. Because my house, like, it's just big enough to where, like, sometimes the kids' Wi Fi would get shitty back in the back. So that's, you know, I'm glad they figured yeah, that shit out. <laughs> and then all three of them are downstairs. I don't have shit upstairs. Are you in, did, is this your garage office thing that you made? Yes. Nice. I am in the garage office. Your little cubby hole. Yes. This is I want to one. Get away from the wife. How? Yeah. <laughs> it's the hidey hole. <laughs> Yeah, but so I'm on the customer service with them. I'm like, there's like, yeah, man, you got too much shit. Uh, start unplugging some of these things. You only need maybe about two or three of them for your square footage. Yada yada yada. Space them out just enough. Sure. And everything. So, um, I pulled some of them out. It was still too many at first, and then um, I was still having issues. So I pull out maybe a, a couple of more. And then I I was getting to the sweet spot, but um. The dude was looking at one of my routers or whatever, because I because uh, I was playing the game and shit. Like you saying, I, I bought these mm-hmm. Ethernet cables that were supposed to be like cat nine thousand shit and give you all the speed and yeah. gigabytes and all that other crap. Right, paid money for it. So I told him that, hey, you know, I got this thing hardwired into the router, and when I play Xbox and shit or whatever, I'm getting network issues and all kinds of stuff. I'm you know saying drop connection and all kind of crap. Right. He's like, okay, which one? And then, you know, I tell him which box it is that I hooked the games up to, hardwire. And he was like, oh, he's like, those cables are like putting out the lowest amount of bandwidth you know, I've ever seen on cables or whatever. And this is supposed to be the high end shits or whatever, oh, right? Shit. Was it before or after the Wi Fi pod fiasco? It was like in between. So yeah. it was like when I was getting to the root of the issue and whatnot. But even um, once we got it down to what we currently have and everything's running flawless, you know, I told him to ch- check out my cables just to see if it wasn't because of all the other shit was fighting. He's like, yeah, those cables are trash. God damn. That's not <laughs> so, he can, so he can look at my network and see the speed that the cables was putting out yeah. to the devices. And he's like, that shit is trash. <laughs> I have garbage fucking uh, internet, dude. Like, it's just it's so what I, I have. <laughs> so... Yeah, so it, so I don't trust none of the cables from Amazon. I mm. go and I like if Euro, the thing that make my thing, if I go to their website, if they make specific brand cables or whatever, I'll get those shits. I'll pay the extra money for the brand names and whatever. Yeah. But I don't go to Amazon and go to get the Amazon basics or fucking the high customer review. Fuck them shits because they yeah, scams. I, I looked at one. As I said, it was a little bit cheaper. And I was just like, no. I mean, it's still through Amazon, but it's third party. I guess it's the actual company's shit. But yeah, I'm going to get me some and see. Hopefully they work on mine. Yeah. I don't have Wi-Fi extenders. 
I do have a new computer. Like this computer is only two years old, so it should. It's a gaming computer, so it should be able to keep up with whatever the fuck it's chumping out. Yeah. My router might be old. Yeah. So if you get on Amazon or whatever, I mean, this is an Amazon product. The the Euro shit, them little pods I'm talking about. It, it's worth the investment. I might take a look at it, especially because I could put like two in here and probably be fine. Not even. You don't even need two. You only need one. one. Stick one, one in the very pack. Yeah, one one will connect to your router because mm-hmm. that'll be the master one, and then you can take the other pods well, or other pod, system. and you can put it wherever else in the house. I if like you it. hardwire and stuff, I would recommend putting it in there because it got two hardwire ports in the back, so you can plug up at least two things in the back. You can hardwire plug into a Wi-Fi extender. Mm-hmm. And then like uh, twenty twenty one, baby, what a time! Then I got, I can't pull it up here, but I got um, what they say you can do. What they told me you can do from their customer service is um, you can get the the network box to where you can plug in one and then you can put in more Ethernet cables into the box. Oh, shit. The splitter. <laughs> yeah, the splitter. Yeah, you can do that. So that's what I got because I got um, one goes hardwired into the computer yeah. and one goes into the splitter, which houses the Xbox and the PlayStation. You get pretty good stream time on your PlayStation and all that shit. Oh, yeah. I have no problems whatsoever with the PlayStation. I have no problems whatsoever with the Xbox. The only thing that was fucking with me before is the TV that I had in here before I bought this one. Yeah, That bitch was fucking up. And it would only fuck up when I played Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't understand it. So like I would go play basketball. Play. I would go play basketball. Work fine. Go play something else. Work fine. But as soon as I get on Call of Duty, it would like spaz the fuck out to the point to where it shuts the Xbox off. Goddamn. And that's like, I don't know why it was doing that, but I figured it was the TV because it would only do it on the TV I had in here. And then when I tried to do some fly shit with my iPad, um, I plugged the cable in here and I could plug it to the TV, you know, broadcast and shit, right? Yeah. The TV that's in our bedroom is the same as the one that I had in here. So I went in there, tried to plug it up in there and do some fly shit. Uh-uh. It, it gave me the stone cold. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I came up in here, tried it in here, plug it up. Uh-uh. Same problem. Then I went to every TV in the fucking house to satisfy my curiosity to make yeah, sure, sure what the fuck was going on. Went to I get every it. TV in the house, no problems. Just those two goddamn TVs, the goddamn TCLs. So you uh, replace TVs. That's I shortly replaced after one. Yeah. I replaced one because the one in my bedroom don't fucking matter because yeah. it doesn't. I don't use that to do the the fun things that I do in my little cubicle in here. Your cubby, but you know, all them TVs out there, fuck them shits. They can do. I don't give a damn about that. This is what matters. <laughs> in here. My shit. It's my playhouse. This is don't where the fucking. Xbox and all this other stuff and the fly computer it. So funny. The, 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 I, I'm sure that your family gets to come into your fucking fortress of solitude, but it would be funny if you put like a padlock on it and you like, can't go in here. <laughs> it's I, mean, like, I, I do have a, I do have a lock on it. They think there's like dead bodies and like fucking ninja <laughs> warrior weapons and shit hanging up on the wall. And it's like, nah, it's just my Xbox and my podcast. I got, I got my dag on. I got my remote right here. I hit the button and then the light come on on the outside. Tell nobody to come in. <laughs> yeah. Stay out. My fucker. <laughs> but it, that doesn't work. Or whatever they, they still come knocking on the door and everything and i'm like what because there's only three of us here now dude i know we were i was going to talk to you about that I, I listened to your show earlier today and that's hang on a second i need a chopping point if this is my show we got to start you know the fucking deal dude don't act brand new you're taking away all my show shits hey we do are whatever you, man are you comfortable are you ready to start the show and then we can talk about the fun shits sure <laughs> you're all the way down from 50 11 kids to one it's pretty sweet. Yeah, Fifty eleven. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, hang on, I gotta plug in my phone. But shit, this is like we fourteen minutes in. It doesn't matter. No. I don't care. I don't care. Ah! <laughs> this is the warm up chat. Get all the dumb shit. Like I'm not gonna put us talking about Wi Fi routers for a fucking twenty minutes into a show. Well, that'll people. that'll be on YouTube. Yeah, that's the Patreon content. That's yeah. the well, behind the scenes. Patreon. 
Doug, I, I had Patreon for years and I only got one person in there that's been getting a, a dollar this whole time and I haven't been putting shit in there. <laughs> it's rough, dude. And I tell everybody that when they fucking get all hyped up about starting shit, I'm just like, all right, well, don't be mad <laughs> if it's mm-hmm. only three people because that's going to suck. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then uh, they got people that's been, that's kicking ass with that shit. They just like constantly doing quality shit. And, you know, I, I, I I, I appreciate that shit. I admire that stuff because, like, you know, I don't have the time for that extra shit. No, and the only either. time that I'll have time for that extra shit is if you're paying money. <laughs> you're gonna have to pay a lot more than a fucking dollar, though. Oh, yeah. oh, get down on the floor. <laughs> My lights to go disco right now. I'm gonna throw mine on too. We're just getting warmed up, baby, baby. <laughs> All right. Cool. I'm gonna count and then we're gonna start. Ready? What are you guys? Five, four, three, two, one. You in the booth like we about to hit a freestyle. Pussy on your screen. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna get us booted off YouTube, dog. <laughs> ah, had to cut it out for it gets to the boozy badass part. That's where shit gets all wild. Oh, yeah. Talking about <laughs> putting Molly in your booty hole. <laughs> yes. For those of you who don't know and don't recognize that familiar face, let's start it off the right way. Hello and welcome to the Po Boys Podcast. I'm your host, that motherfucker Jody B. It's Hank, one of my best and oldest friends in the podcasting business uh, uh a journeyman uh along with myself he's got you're actually like my inspiration i think you've got a year's lead on me and you're probably besides my wife the most recurring person on my show so welcoming back from the random ramblings with rob podcast b rob what's up dude yo it's been a minute it's been too long i thought it's about been been a while minute. we need that sound drop <laughs> I don't fuck with drops. I need to do that. Man, I'll put it in there. Which one do you want? You want Chad Kroger? I don't know. That's not Chad Kroger. Know. That's Aaron Lewis. The stained guy, yeah. right? Yeah. It's been a while. That shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it has been a while. Uh, I've been, as you can, as you know, I've just been working my ass off and everything. Yeah. I'm just starting to get back to some sort of semblance of normalcy in my routine and everything to where it allows me to be here with you in the evening doing podcasts to where I I used to be at work right about now. (laughs) Yeah. Well, that's what it was like. You know, it's been a minute. I think I had you episode 99. We're at like one thirty something now. And I haven't talked to you much since then, aside from the, you know, here and there's. So, uh, Hey man, how's your COVID been? (laughs) I haven't spoken to you 
in over a year, I think, about any of that fun stuff. You make it out okay? Um, yeah, I've been I've been dosed up and everything. Yeah. I heard your work hours changed and a bunch of other shit. <laughs> Boy, it's been a wild it's been a wild little bit of time, huh? Yeah, like um shit. Where do I begin? Yeah, right. Uh, up. 20, yeah, 2020 is just like um fuck me up because 2019 was a great year for the podcast. You know, I yes. started doing conventions and going places and traveling and everything. And um, for the whole year of 2020, I was like, hell yeah, I got the calendar mapped out. I know where I'm going. I'm going to do more traveling and go meet people that I've done podcasts with. And then once again, uh -uh! nope, Not none of course. that shit. COVID <laughs> came in like a madman. Yeah, and then um, all of 2020, I was still fortunate enough to work, and so that was a blessing. I get uh, it. I I can't complain either. My hours got cut, but I still kept the job, so I'm not allowed to complain about the fact that it fucking sucked. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the thing about it, it was just like I don't know. People were scared to go out, so it was just like, hey, I am willing to work. I'll go out there. I go in Walmart every day. I ain't scared of this shit. Yeah, I'm fucking. I am drop forged in this bullshit. <laughs> Walmart is yeah, you were middle <laughs> you were middle uh at what it, I was born in it molded by it yeah I was born in the blue lights <laughs> <laughs> that's funny man I see I didn't even think about that like through this whole thing I've been to like maybe three Walmarts since the whole pandemic shit kicked in and the, I went when it was deep in the like lockdown shit and it was like there was arrows on the floors and like yes people standing there telling you which way to go and only letting in 20 30 people at a time and i'm mm -hmm. i didn't want any part of that shit so i stayed away and even now i feel weird but there's there's no cashiers now that's cool there's just like 25 I mean, little pay, 20 i know but you can get in and get your shit and scan it yourself and then leave mm -hmm. and that's they, pretty they upgraded they, they upgraded their game on that though because they got like Two different cameras on the self checkout now, so they got the yeah. camera that's above <laughs> the Big Brother Sky Eagle eyeball hanging over yep. the top. Then they have a camera that's right at the register. Then they have a camera that's right over the top to watch your hand swipes, make sure yeah, you're scanning right. all your shit. You gotta fake them out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got you a buddy that does their uh, spray paint can and. Pss, pss, pss. <laughs> Look, I've walked out of Kroger with fucking like beer and stuff on, mm -hmm. on purpose just to see, like, because I already had a basket full of groceries. I was like, mm -hmm. they're not gonna know. But I've got a, a buddy of mine who listens to the show actually, and his trick is, he said it's bananas. He said, "You motherfuckers, you want me to work like an employee? You didn't train me. I don't know." So he said, "I'll mm -hmm. ring up a whole ass like meat and cheese tray from the deli or crab legs and shit." It's just like, I guess it's bananas. How much does it weigh? All right, it's all bananas. <laughs> Here's three dollars. <laughs> I scanned yeah. it. That's the most that I've ever done was just like forgot that I had crates of water under the basket, yeah, and everything, and just push that bitch right out the door. And then oh, I'm man. like, wait a minute, did I fuck it? I'm outside. <laughs> I didn't want to say it out loud, but I don't care because I'm gay. I uh, I've stolen seltzers just because they're like eighteen dollars for a twelve pack of seltzers. So I'd be like, every fourth one's free. <laughs> Hey, it'd be like that, man. Choices were made. <laughs> you got to leave yourself plausible deniability. So, like, I would put it under the shit in the buggy, like, uh, kind of mm -hmm. in the middle. And then as I would check out, I would put shit in bags and then put the bags back in the cart. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd just put it back in so it'd be like I was covering it up like Tetris as I went back. And then I could just be like, <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot <laughs> if somebody yeah. called me on it. but Or you get the daggone, uh, you got five of the same thing then you do the damn put everything in the bag and do five swipes but you really you only did four yeah, <laughs> or some shit. Done that. <laughs> i don't think it's stealing if it's food and if it's from kroger it's fine no especially they, kroger they want you to steal they're like yeah just take the shit we don't want it either i don't know my my kroger them put the little swing gates up in that bitch now you can't go out the way you came in <laughs> oh dog we got the locky wheels them motherfuckers will embarrass you because it's like you walk through with the front wheels, you think you're home free, but the locks are on the, the back ones. So you oh. go through and it sounds like two of them zip ties clenching up. It goes, <laughs> tick, 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 and that shit stops like a flat tire. It's like, skirt. Like, Grab my bags. It's the one time 
it's a detriment to go shopping because you know it's not you have you know like 10 bucks worth of shit in your car it's when you got a buggy full of shit and like it just goes skirk <laughs> you can't even push it you gotta stand there and let them come scan your shit it's like you motherfucker you figured me out you got me <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you get to the point to where you people get so complacent or whatever they don't even check a receipt at the door no more. I just like I got hands full of shit that I could have just went in the store and walked in and walked out with. It's crazy time, man. We're getting back to normal where like people are walking around kind of like before. The only difference is there's like empty spots in the shelf still. Yeah, but, but there was that time where everybody was masked up and like you had to like eyeball the side eye motherfuckers and then you see them. Finger to grapes. I know that's something that you've definitely talked about at nauseum. Oh, boy. People with their finger and fruit and shit. Like, I, I didn't even want to take my kid because he's got a habit of just grabbing shit. And I'm like, yeah. put that shit back. The kid touches no. the shit. It's yours now. You put that in the yeah, car. I've, I've, been teaching, <laughs> I've been teaching the young one that shit, man. When we go there and I'll be like, hey, whenever you had to go grab a vegetable or fruit or whatever, you take the plastic bag, you put it over your hand, yep. you grab the one you want, then you bring the bag over the top. <laughs> It's you're doing it the right thing. I need to teach my kid that because I'm still now I don't touch shit that I'm not taking, but I definitely like walk up to the broccoli and just grab a fucking handful of it and stick yeah, it. Shit grab it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, like avocados or whatever. You can't just grab any avocado. So I put the bag over my hand. I touch your filly on them or whatever. Oh. Do, do my examination. All right. I'll take oh, that. One. <laughs> I've never thought about like you just blew my mind whole because I still that's one of the ones I get weird about because you can't just buy any avocado. You got to pick it up and give that little motherfucker a squeeze. Mm-hmm. And I felt weird about it a few times because I'm like, God damn, I'm touching all these. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I just had to give my wife a class on about the right avocado to get or whatever because she's starting to incorporate that into her diet. <laughs> Avocados are great. <laughs> Boy, you're telling me one of my favorite things. I wish I had an avocado tree. It takes like 10 goddamn years to grow them. (laughs) Man, you know, you can probably attest to this shit. I mean, I don't know. Your wife probably different from mine, but it's probably the same same old song and dance with many wives and whatnot. Tell you you, they don't want to do something or they're interested in something. So you like, shit, I'm down. I'll help you out. We do this thing together or I'll help you out so you can get to the goal that you want to receive. You're talking about slave labor? Yeah, my wife does it every once Exactly. In a while. Yeah. Backyard. She was about to have a cookout with her little lady friends or whatever. They was going to come over and everything. So she bought a little gazebo type joint, which I yeah. had to set up. Of course. You got to pick it out, though, right? She said, What color do you want? I, I don't oh, give a fuck about that. Sure. I don't <laughs> give a fuck about that. But she picked it out. I, I set it up. And then, you know, this backyard was uh, kind of jacked up because of all the weather we had out here. So we have um, dirt in the back that uh you know to put the gravel in there and the decorative rocks and all that stuff so all that shit got blown to hell and everything so i had to go out there repave all that put more rocks and make it all pretty and frilly and shit for the ladies to come over and cook out oh man so in the midst of me doing all this yard work and all this other digging and labor and all this other stuff going back and forth to motherfucking home depot filling the back of my truck with goddamn bags of gravel and pedibles and all kind of other bullshit I hope she, she brought about, you a cool drink at least once in that process, B-Rob. She was at work. <laughs> God damn it. But uh, she was like, it would be nice to have a little spot right here where I can, you know, plant some things, you know, a little stuff we can use in the house, like little jalapenos and shit like that. So I was like, bet. Say yeah. less. I want some vegetables. I had a little spot over there that um we didn't have enough gravel to cover. So I pulled all that shit out of there, dug it up, fucking... Yeah put soil in there, mulch. I even got the little white, little tiny picket fences and put around there and section it off from the rest of the yard so the dog won't get in there and everything. And then, since she likes lavender, I went to a little plant place that nobody goes to or whatever that looked like a circus tent on the side of the highway. And I was like, (laughs) give me a motherfucking lavender plant. Got a lavender plant, dug a hole, cracked the bottom of that goddamn little plastic thing that it was in, dropped that bitch in the ground, covered it with mulch and dirt, and watered it. And then, out of my own curiosity, I was like, I wonder how long, because I love cilantro, how long it would take a little thing of cilantro to grow. Got me some cilantro seeds, got down in the corner, sprinkled a little seed in there, a little mulch, a little water, put a rock on top so I know where I put it. Yep. And I am the only one that touched this motherfucker since I did all that. Yeah, it's the worst. I didn't sign up to be a farmer. I just thought it would be cool to maybe be like, hey, look, it's a tomato plant. I like the way they smell. But uh, yeah, all the I'm not planting shit anymore. I'm done. 
I've done it two years in a row now, and it's a complete waste of time. Dude, I she started doing this meal prep shit. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I'm not a picky eater. And I know you're doing this for your own dietary needs and all kind of crap like that. I was like, I'll eat what you eat. Mm -hmm. You know, it makes no sense for us to buy double the food to cook two different things. Yeah. You just buy enough of that to feed all of us and I'll eat what you eat. So it'll, you know, cut down on the hassle. So she went to the store over the weekend and bought all this stuff that she would need to cook and eat and prep and all this stuff. Meanwhile, we still have a deep freezer full of normal shit that we've been had that we haven't cooked. So I just went in there and started thawing shit out. I was like, you meal prep and I'll meal prep the rest of this shit for me to take to work for the rest of the week so we can start getting rid of it slowly by slowly and by slowly. You know, I'll eat the shit. You don't have to worry about it. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll eat it. You don't have to worry about it. So I'm in there. Got some ground chicken and some green beans and some motherfucking rice. I'm cooking all this shit up, putting it in my containers. Motherfucking cilantro. Went outside yeah. in the yard. Snip, snip. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Bam. I felt like goddamn salt bay in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you at least got your money. See, that's what it is. You get just enough that you go, well, that was an experience. Because yeah, that's it. I've, I've grown been. like seven green beans and like a carrot. I got a sunflower, a watermelon or two. Like we've made some progress. Yeah. Nothing to write home about. <laughs> yeah, she was she was cutting up them avocados in there. I almost about to crack the seed them and just go drop it in the backyard and see what happened. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. And that's what I, my son. That's I, it's a huge disappointment because I love avocados. But mm -hmm. you look the shit up online, and dude, some of these plants it takes like two months. You can mm -hmm. have a full, a whole ass pumpkin or a tomato plant, like whatever it is. It goes from seed to you know, on your fucking plate. Mm -hmm. An avocado tree takes 10 years to grow, like, big enough that it does anything. And that's the thing. It's like, that's something you put at your forever home. Or you buy a house yeah. with an avocado tree. Like, you don't yeah. really plant those. <laughs> and it Dude. sucks because the kid's like, let's plant it, Diddy. We can grow green beans and avocado. And I'm like, I don't want to waste my fucking time, dude. The thing that I always wanted. I mean, we, we can't do it here. Because that backyard is, like, this big. Plus the pool sure. take up all that real estate back there. Anyway. You need room to be a farmer. That's the problem. I was like, I just for the fuck of it, just for the aesthetic, the way it looks, I, I just I want a goddamn banana tree. <laughs> yeah. Just because. At least they're pretty. My grandpa yeah, used to yellow, yellow dingalings hanging from a tree and shit. <laughs> yeah. If you're in the right weather, that's the thing. Like there's a lot of places in the country you're gonna have to dig that some bitch up. And it's cute when it's three foot tall, but when that motherfucker's like 10 foot tall in your backyard. It's yeah. like digging up a fucking whole ass flagpole and dragging it under your house and wrapping it in a blanket. Yeah, yeah, because they got the damn the tree in our front yard that's been here forever. There's roots going, look like it's going under the fucking driveway and shit or whatever. And we yeah. hate that motherfucker. We want to knock that some bitch down, but I know it's going to take some hard work and determination to pull up all that stump and all this other crap. <laughs> My great grandpa was, he was the yard dude. Like, that's one thing. That to the a, day. You love that, you know. <laughs> God damn, dude, he had the nicest grass. It was that big fat blade shit, and you could walk in it and put footprints in his grass. It was amazing. But he had banana trees and all this shit, and usually once or twice a year, had to go in there and like you just chomping down these fucking plants and digging up sunflower things and banana trees and shit. Like you just digging up a whole ass tree, you know? Like the root ball takes like three motherfuckers to pull this shit out of the ground and put it on a dolly. The place where I grew up, my, you know, my childhood home, my parents still are there, but we used to have a pear tree in our backyard, big sprawly motherfucker. It took up like the back end of our backyard and everything. And it was right by the fence, by the road. There was a road that ran in the back of our house and it just grew big ass pears or whatever. Well, actually, and pretty fucking cool <laughs> neighborhoods and the kid. Kids in the neighborhood would always come jump our fence and start picking pears and shit out of the tree, which, you know, my dad used to run them off for a little while. Then he was like, why the fuck am I doing that? It's this fucking tree is going to grow more and all this other stuff. Right. So, you have rotten pears on the ground. Yeah, exactly. So the, his thought process was because it was we had, the whole yard was fenced in. So what he did was he cut a section out of the fence so nobody would have to jump the fence no more. They can just come in the yard and pick the shit and gone by the business because right. his whole thing was it's not he wasn't trying to 
keep them from nobody. It's just he didn't want the motherfucker to climb that fence and break their leg or hurt themselves or some shit, and we get blamed for it. <laughs> I'm with it because that's the way that shit works. Some little kid falls over and cracks his damn head open, breaks his neck. He's in a wheelchair now. You got to pay for him, and you fucking have to fix your fence. <laughs> yeah, so he <laughs> just got a section out of the fence. He's like, here, fuck it, y'all just have at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. That'd be cool as shit to have like a house with like an orchard or something. Not the whole ass big orchard kind of thing, but you know, like four or five different trees. I stayed in a place in uh, New Orleans one time. It was like a little citrus grove. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure them trees probably weren't, but about 15, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. But still, like they were like little little lemons and fucking oranges and shit hanging off. Aesthetically, (laughs) that's what I would like. Fucking lemon plant lemon tree fucking bananas you know so i have the yellow hues over right. here and whatnot you feel like you're in a motherfucking disney movie like you walk outside and you fucking sing a little song and you fucking grab a, a orange yeah. off a tree and you, you just lemon. sitting on like you sitting on the bale of the hay with your back up against the tree playing the guitar and just boop right on the head then you take a bite no you rub it on your shirt first because that's how you clean it then yeah you take that's the bite. only way to clean an apple it gets all the bugs <laughs> off <laughs> Uh, yeah, because the microfibers in your shirt. You... <laughs> Cheap shirts are fucking tough, man. You might be able to do that. You rip the apple up, man. You get a good shine with no goddamn. You need a silk shirt. <laughs> it's not bad. I shot that to be polish it up. What's up? <laughs> hey, uh, I listened to your show today, and uh, I have a thing I wanted to ask you about. Word. You want to take a wild guess at what it's going to be? Is it about the butt stuff? I <laughs> broke in the conversation by saying if you stick it in a girl's booty hole, uh, that make her gay. <laughs> and the reason I said this is because if supposedly if you stick it in a man's butthole, that make him gay. So the thing is, if you stick it, you know, nothing is supposed to be stuck in the butthole. That's not th- what that is for. It's not a sexual organ or whatever, even though it's been made into such by us lustful creatures known as- so uh <laughs> funny thing they come out of left field you know but i'm here for it i i agree <laughs> i think any woman that takes it in the butt is a homosexual <laughs> yes you women that take it in the ass are gay <laughs> you're a whole bunch of faggots God Dude, damn. <laughs> it's not even fun. Like I've come to the, like you can lick a booty hole. You put your finger in a booty hole. Like there's certain things that are manageable, but fucking a butt. There's really no upside to it, man. Like I mean, it's, it's, if, if you like, it's but but see, like of a, it's a hassle though. But like, yeah, it doesn't lubricate itself. A, mm-hmm. so you're either gonna have to get some lube or you're gonna have to use nature's lube, which is a mm-hmm. luger right on the butt. Yeah, patooey. Yes, that and that's 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 a weird that's a weird uh situation to be in to where like you do something out of curiosity and then this person tells you to just spit on it and I'm like yeah. what? So first of all, you've been here before, but also you're the mother of my children. Don't talk to me like this. Oh no, this was this was way before Mrs. B Rob. <laughs> <laughs> this was before Mrs. B Rob, and this was after the first one. <laughs> The key is you got to get try to get it as close to the hole as you can, and you go, Puh, and then you take your thumb, you get it in there, and then you rub a little yeah. on your tip. It's, it's weird because it's just <laughs> like you, you, a fucking this, this is how I imagine birds when they shit on people, cars, and everything. They're just kind of looking down and they just boop. drop it, <laughs> drop it like it's hot, <laughs> just drop it right in there. You know, birds don't have butthole muscles. Yeah, that's why it just flop out all over the place. Somebody told me that one day, and I was amazed. It all made sense. I said they're never, they're not assholes. They just don't have them, so they just the poo falls out. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's gonna be a horrible it. existence, man. It's just like because I know today at work <laughs> I had to take a shit, yeah, and I can't, I couldn't imagine to where I didn't have some kind of way to like curb that or whatever. Till yeah, I got to the bathroom, it would just come out right out, just plow. Right yeah, there. Say so. It just comes leaking out of the bottom of your fucking pants. And you're like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> but think of that was the, uh, the norm. You know, this is like we had bird buttholes or whatever. Me, I mean, me and you just having a conversation and I just get quiet all of a sudden. He's like, you taking the shit, ain't you? Yeah. I, I guess. guess. <laughs> I, yeah, I think so. <laughs> just think about the, just the mass transit 
situation or whatever. You riding on the bus and it's just people just letting it go, man, because they can't they can't help it. I'm thinking about Walmart because that's your beloved, oh, and I'm like, who no, Walmart? Be like, don't put that thought in my head. You no. have to. You'd really have to put like a suspended floor situation, like some kind of a grate, like in a mm-hmm. chicken coop. Where people I know, us being it. human. Us being humans and our ingenuity, or whatever, we probably come up with a, a solution for this shit. We probably have like some kind of little trough pants that we wear and have like a waiters. little bucket in the back. Uh, they're just waiters and they fill up from the inside out, so you don't shit on the floor. <laughs> it's just like, poof. It, 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 once it gets to a tipping around. point, it just. Poof. Oh man, it just spilled a shit all over. Mm. Man, it didn't look, man. It's 2021. I just got the brand new motherfucking iPhone and shit, right? So we probably got like an app for that or whatever. You put it on your sternum or whatever, then you, your phone will let hey man, you got like 30 seconds before this shit just let out right now. <laughs> <laughs> they put a chip in there, just like a little detector in your colon. It's just like, uh oh, hey dude, get a stepping. <laughs> just sitting in a rolling chair all day. No, <laughs> it'd be like an action movie every time. <laughs> It would be awful. To be honest with you, like of the shitting, like animal kingdom shits, birds have it probably the worst. If I I had to pick the best situation, Mm -hmm. I'd like to have like the little jelly bean shits, like uh, like bunny rabbits or deer. Yeah, little little Hershey kisses. Little coffee bean turds. Like that'd be great. (laughs) Little granules and shit. You can just kind (laughs) of. Yeah, you can fling them at each other like a slingshot. That'd be great. But that's what I'm saying. The monkeys do. It would make even some of that nasty porno a little more tolerable because that's I can't deal with when people pooping on each other. That's gross. But if it was just like a, a cup full of jelly beans on some bitch's face, that's kind of funny. Oh, you have you, you remember that uh somebody made that that uh that uh, not safe for work Skittles commercial or whatever? Maybe was it shit? Oh no no no. So it was just like um. It had the guy and the girl, they just got married or whatever. They was on their honeymoon and he was just like humping on. He's like, uh, uh, uh. She's like, give it to me. And you like, you pull out and he jizz and it's all Skittles in her face and shit. That's and it's like, taste the rainbow. That's one of those Super Bowl fucking didn't get, make it to American TV commercials. Yeah, that shit. That shit is hilarious. He's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's like, give it to me. It's like Skittles all over her face and shit. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> butt sex man i'm with you you take in the butt you're a homo but mm-hmm. it's just not fun like that's my whole point like at least the vagina there's all kinds of crevices and muscles and different stuff it's kind of made mm-hmm. for a penis like a butthole mm-hmm. it's just like putting your dick through a like a hair tie like a scrunchie basically <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing really on the other side there's just like space i don't know so it's not uh, for me personally, unless your girl got a tight butthole, and then it's just like I said, it's like putting a scrunchie around your cock and moving it back. Yeah, it's just like I, it's it's some remorse when we get into this or whatnot. Because I've been in, I've had requests to be like, girl, be like, stick it in my butt, and I'm like, okay, and then I go I go into that motion and everything, and I'm feel like I'm putting more effort into it than I need to. Then at the same time, if I'm not putting a lot of effort into it, I'm like, Ugh, what's up with your butthole, girl? You know, yeah. so maybe she walking around got the bird situation going on. I don't know. It's she's just like it out for you. She's just like, I'm gonna sit on this fucking parking cone for half a day to make sure that B Rob doesn't turn my fucking guts out. <laughs> you know, so, uh, I don't know because like I can remember the couple of times that I encountered a female that was into that stuff. It was just um. <laughs> Wait, it's what, not what look. It's not that weird. It's just funny when like that's their go to. That's yeah. It's just like, um, I don't know. It was it was a girl. She was older than me. She, well, should I say lady? She was a lady. She was older than me at the time. Uh, you but fucked her grandma. Shame on you. Oh, uh, I I I was eight. I was nineteen. It, uh, it was before my. No, it was after my uh, first deployment. So I had to be at least twenty one because I turned twenty one in the desert. Yeah. So I was 21 and she was like almost 40. Hell yeah, dude. That's somebody's and grandma. For real. She would buy me. She did my taxes one year and I got Buku Bank back. And that's when I was a single dad with both of my kids with me at the time. So she hooked me up on my, ta- on my taxes and uh, she bought me stuff and she was buying the kids stuff and I, I told her I couldn't accept that or whatever. I mean, I mean, I don't know where this is going to go. I don't want my kids getting attached and all kind of stuff like that and whatnot. And like, no shit. She would come to my house 
give me head and just leave awesome like we no 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 sex just you just like come to my house give me head and leave cool so i'm like 21 and she was like almost 40 or whatever and i was like i guess this is what this is is that that all miss (laughs) and then you know one time she came over and she was doing the thing and then i was like i i obliged and then we had sex maybe one time and then she had to go away on a trip and then uh she came back and then we just kind of lost touch it just didn't it kind of fell apart i mean i don't know what happened it's, I think it more likely it was the age thing or whatever. Or I wind up, as uh, time would tell at the time, that I wind up being some lady's fling hmm. to to where, like, I found out that I did this thing with this lady, nasty, deplorable things, and sometimes yeah. in the presence of other children, which they bring with them to my house because I have children and they have children. And... uh I come to find out after I tried to get in touch with him again that they was married. So I'm like, whoa, Ooh. this is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I found myself in a situation. Yeah, more than once. And it, yeah. it's like, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> you know? It's beautiful. But, uh, I like the fact that she was just willing to, to treat you like that. I, I mean, I'm glad you had sex with her at least once because I would have just said it might have been a guy. Like, maybe you didn't know, but who's who gives a shit now, right? Yeah, I was like, it's too late now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Didn't stick, we didn't stick it in each other's butt, so we're not gay. There we there go. go. <laughs> I didn't even say it was gay if a guy was sucking your cock. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. <laughs> Buying your stuff, taking care of your kids, hanging out and blowing you. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll believe I'm I'm fine in the matrix. <laughs> and then whenever we did finally do it that one time, it was just like giving me direction and everything. It's like, all right, do this, do this. I was like, all right, this is like apparently shit and i don't like it <laughs> yeah grown women don't fuck around man they know what's yeah, up they know what they want so she was directing and i was like all right, all right. but Chris that wouldn't even right one I could, but that, that wasn't even the one that i made gay that's not the one i stuck it in the butt um it was another older lady later on after that and um one of my fr- female friends put me on her it was her cousin or some shit or whatever said she was coming down from out of town she was looking for a good time she she pimped me out pretty much i was like yeah. bet went to the club and everything, we got shit face drunk, and I ignored her on purpose. Hell yeah! And everything, you know, I'm out on the dance floor dancing with other girls and everything, and just doing what I do. And then um, I seen a guy come up and start talking to her. So me and my young bravado or whatever, I just walked up over there, and this is when B Rob had hair and shit, so I was extra fly. I was like, and, uh, good, bro. he was talking to her, or whatever, and I just kind of leaned back and kind of peep game for a little bit. I took a swig of my drink. And I walked over there and I just full on tongue kissed her in the mouth. And then I just walked away. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, dude was standing there like, yeah. oh, and he just kind of like faded off into obscurity and shit. And, <laughs> That's assault, and, brother. In 2021, you go to jail. Oh, boy. I mean, but hey, I knew her prior to, so it's good. It was consensual at the time. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> forgot to, you forgot to ask. <laughs> she was body hey. language. Yeah, I asked with my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> but um my please face. She came please. home with me. Yeah. And then uh she proceeded to pour Hennessy down my throat because she had some in her boobies because they were very large. Yeah. To have like a model, like the little tiny guy or like a yeah, like the like yeah, this. big enough to fit in there. It's probably about a li- little bit smaller than this one. Oh, she, had a, she had a pint off in there. Okay. Yeah up in the boobs or whatever. She pull them out and feed me some more Henny, trying to get me extra drunk for the debauchery that was about to go down, I guess. Yeah. And she, boy, she messed me up. She she took me out and had a big old boobies and was slamming them on my lap and everything and all that other crazy stuff. And then we get to doing the round with the grown stuff. And then uh, it was an accident. But she didn't say stop. <laughs> So it was accidentally went all the way, or just give her a good poke? Oh, it, it went like because it happens. There's a couple of different times. You kind of yeah. rubs against it, or like you get the jab. You never like get I, all the way in there unless shit is just a mess. You know, like the, the, the head went in, and then I like I, I was like, oh, Oop. and then, and she then I just kind of inched yeah. and inched. And no, oh, okay, we we good. We, we, we ain't say nothing. <laughs> and it was just like that was no problem. 
It was like yeah. no spit, no nothing. It was just like a couple pokes and it was just right a right, right a rolling. And I was like, this is weird. <laughs> it's only gay if you push back. That's the rule. <laughs> I was like, this is weird. And then another time a girl just hauled off and told me, stick it in my ass. And I was like, okay. And then I did it and she kind of went away and she's like, don't do that again. And I was like, all right. You yeah, yeah. Note it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I don't know. It's just like another time after that, a girl that I fooled around with, she was like, no shit, a porn star. And I didn't believe her until she started showing me videos and stuff. And I was like, oh, cool. So that's what this is. Yep. So that time I didn't feel like, you know, it's just like, that was the one that told me spit on it. She's like, spit on it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> It'd be funny if you'd have missed. <laughs> Hit her in the back. Oh, shit. Sorry. I don't know what I was saying. It's just like, um, don't practice a lot. It, you know, you loogie it down a little bit. You just kind of yes. swing it and bloop, let it drop. <laughs> so you got to get real good. You got to get the, the arch you throw a little bit and you got to <laughs> hit that motherfucker and then rub it with your thumb. Man. Or you can just get ridiculous and do the Triple H or whatever. Just, <laughs> just let it sprinkle down or whatever. Whatever hit, whatever hit. <laughs> Shit, I'm a grown up. I use lube. <laughs> yeah. I had a chick like the older gal that I used to be with before my wife. She like, and this is she only got butt stuff a couple times, and every time I think she really dug it, but she didn't want it a lot. You know, it's like one of those. One night she happened to pop it in there, and then she made a mess. <laughs> Not like poop or anything, but like she yeah. got off on it, and I was just like, okay. And I'm a creep like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah get drunk i put it in make make the mess fucking <laughs> puddle it there up one, there was one one lady that i was fooling around with that brought it up but it never happened and i just thought it was the most weirdest thing ever or whatever it was just like she's like so i was uh fucking myself in the ass with a dildo and yeah. i was like word <laughs> this this is how this goes it's like i forget what i was doing i was over there and I, you know, I was just being a geeky nerd or whatever. I, I brought my fucking laptop with me because I was editing a goddamn video. <laughs> and I was sitting there, and I'm editing the video, I'm typey, typey, typing, sliding frames over and shit. And then uh, you know, she's sitting over there on the couch, because I mean, I came there for a reason. Right. And I'm just doing nerd shit or whatever. And over here on my fucking laptop, my Sony Vio and shit, right? Not even paying it's attention. To her. I'm trying to focus. And then um, I'm like, I'm like, no shit. I'm into this shit. Like I'm on this doing real work. And she's like, so I was just fucking myself in the ass with a dildo the other day. And I was like, word? <laughs> what else? <laughs> it, what was that line in uh, Django or whatever? Is that you had my uh, curiosity, but now you have my attention. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hold up. Hey, that's one of those moments. Fucking Nate Dog sticks his head and in. That was, a, that was a weird situation, too, because, like, she would come over and we would do things as adults do. Why bring it up? You know and what I'm then, saying? Um, like, why bring it up at all if that's not uh, some sort of a destination? Yeah, I know. But, like, one day she just texted me out of the blue, told me not to call her. She's like, it's not you. It's me. I have to go away. And you would, you're so nice. And I can't do this anymore and whatever and it was just poof that was it never seen it again <laughs> clean break i like it i was like okay i wasn't mad i was just like this is weird or whatever i was like it might have been another one of them situations again she might have had a dude or whatnot because she always would come to my place and the place that i would bring her i would never bring her directly to i would drop her off somewhere yeah so <laughs> who knows yeah <laughs> who knows the mystery I know in my adolescence as well, after the divorce and everything, uh, I what was that? Um, the website might still be around. It was like the um, Adult uh, Friend Finder. Yeah, that that, yeah, that I shit. I, I, I that. did that once, and that was creepy. And I never did it again. <laughs> I had like a whole month between like when I broke up solid and met my wife, and kind of got you know in and out mm -hmm. of exclusive. I guess you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> I didn't even have a camera to put a picture on there, you know. So you yeah. just like fishing for just dudes on the other end of the internet. <laughs> hey, just don't stick it in their butt, man. You good? Uh, we get a gay stuff. Fucking, have you done any uh, seen any wrestling shows lately? What's today? Tuesday. 
Yeah. Um, yesterday, Monday Night Raw was here in Houston, Texas, and I was like, "Fuck that couch." Yeah. <laughs> I did not go. You went to a pay per view recently, didn't you? Yeah, I went to SummerSlam in um, Las Vegas. Hell yeah, dude! Have you been to? So you've done WrestleMania, you've done SummerSlam, you've yeah. done a Survivor Series. Uh, that's one of the ones that I'm missing. So I've been to a Royal Rumble. That'd be sweet. I would love to oh, go to. It was fucking Rumble. amazing. That was the one where Edge came back too. That's the one I was at. That was yeah. the last pay per view before the pandemic. Hell yeah! So that was here in Houston. I went to the Royal Rumble. I've been to Buku WrestleManias. Um, Jealous. I've, I've been to a SummerSlam most recently. Um, it's just the big four Survivor Series. That's the other one. And that yeah, I need to go to Survivor way. Series. That's November, want... right? That's the fall. Yeah. So it's, it's coming up. It'll be in November, I think, or something like that. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? It's just there's family shit going on typically. So to take off to go do that, you kind of got to be willing to get ridiculed by your fucking family. <laughs> Well, shit, I'm going to do some wrestling shit this weekend. Uh, there's a local show here at, with a local fed that I try to help out as much as I can. New Texas Pro Wrestling oh, here shit. in Texas. And um, I, matter of fact, I just had their champion on, what, two or three episodes ago? Uh, the Bounty Hunter, Brian Keith. And um, they got a show going on this weekend, so I'm going to go into that shit. <laughs> It's fun, right? So I don't know if I've talked to you since I might have mentioned it to you. I took yeah, because I was trying to get I was trying to get at that, but we started talking about butt stuff. Uh, you get been around. frequenting some uh, independent shows and everything up and around your area. I, I'm interested to know about the experience because you told me you would text me and be like, "Hey, man, this is what's going on." And I'm thinking about going and whatnot. Now I'm be like, "Go to that shit." So yeah. been to them shits. Let me know what's going on, player. So here's what happened. SmackDown was a bust. Oh. It was too, it's too much. And my kid's five. Like he likes watching yeah. wrestling, but he likes watching wrestling. Like it, he's not about the fucking promos. He doesn't really speak a whole lot of English yet. So mm -hmm. now it, he got to see people doing backflips and shit off the turnbuckles. And that was pretty cool. And power bombs. It's not as uh, mm -hmm. in your face, but the week prior of how we got tickets to go watch SmackDown, I took him to an indie show here. There's a goddamn wrestling school, like two miles from my house now. Work. So it's okay. You remember Men on a Mission with Big oh, Man? Yeah. So Mo, the other guy, yeah, he owns a wrestling school in Texas. The subsidiary, also like the feeder branch, is here. Word. So that's the deal. Is I guess he owns both of them, and they manage this company here. And do they've been having local shows like once a month? They'll do probably yeah, about that's seven, how I usually go seven matches. It's like fifteen bucks, I think, to get in. Some water fold up chairs, dude, and a little fucking little warehouse and shit, dude. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. My kid, dude, really you, you need it. to find the in. You need to get in with them people, bro. And just like whenever they have a show, you need to be there and like helping out and doing something with them, whatever. Cause that's how I, that's how I, got, I get in with them. Yeah. Um, the guys I'm here start with just taking the kid. Like that's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause, um, I know the guy who runs the show or whatever. He was a guest on this show or whatever. <laughs> so it's just like, hey, man, you need any help? He's like, yeah, come on down. And I'm like, oh, shit. And it's weird because um, there's a code amongst wrestlers or whatever. He's like, and I, you know, I find this out, you know, via the Internet and in in-person experiences and shit is to where whenever you come to a show, like, you know, you always get there early and everything. And you introduce yourself to everybody because you don't know who everybody is. He might right. be a scout. He might know this person. He might know that person. So here I am, Joe Blow, nobody in the wrestling world at all. And I'm there with like people that's on TV currently right now for AEW and shit like that and used to wrestle for WWE. And they're coming up to me and giving me dap and shit, saying what's up and talking to me and shit. And I'm just like, I feel like I shouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Matter of fact, um, Matter of fact, they got the one young girl. She just won the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship. They just had this big ass uh, tournament and everything. And she is the fucking current champion. And she was at the last show and she's in there willing to cart in because she's their champion and the ROH champion. She got her belts hanging off the back of her bag. And I don't know this girl from other than watching her perform. And she seen me and I'm there and I'm like, hey, what's up? And she came and gave me a hug. Don't even know this girl. And I'm just like, it's okay. fucking weird. 
hello, <laughs> hello person, lady. <laughs> like, hello. And I'm just like, hey, remember you said you was going to be on the podcast? I'm lying my ass off. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I didn't do that, but I'm going to do it next time, though. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's they, it seemed like cool. Like it's a little organization. I'm sure they got a few people. The fucking champion, they got the big old motherfucker, man. I don't remember what his what's his name, Jace something. His the summit was the, his nickname. He's a big old dude, and he was doing like the heel heel bad guy thing. He ended up winning in the end, but he just kicked the shit out of the fucking baby face for a while and was stomping him and sweating everywhere. And shit was intense. <laughs> they broke a couple tables. Mm-hmm. It's like one step up from backyard wrestling, dude. There was only maybe 40 fold-up chairs in that whole fucking place. And they had the whole guardrail and shit up, and they were running into it. And you had to, like, put your feet up so you wouldn't get fucking cracked with a guardrail. Like, these dudes are fucking, they're doing their shit. This this place is just, like, in a backlot warehouse where I go. And it's, like, dirt and gravel roads. There's no parking. You have to park down the road and walk your ass in. And they don't have any guardrails. So you're gonna see somebody fly out the ring, gun. they coming into your lap. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of you're gonna see somebody get a staple gun or a fucking light bulb cracked across their goddamn forehead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but like the people, what I enjoy about that atmosphere for that, especially for that brand, they have the regulars, so they have people that know what's going on in these shows. They hang out after the show with the talent, and they know they all know each other by name and shit, and it's just like a party every time we all roll up. They got motherfuckers roll up in that bitch with coolers full of all the drinks and just, just ready to rock. Just ready to watch. <laughs> I like it, man. That's I uh, now that I know that it's here, I'm gonna fucking start checking it out on a regular basis. I'll take the baby. He like he loves it. Like he was jumping yeah. around and hollering. Like I know that your kids are, are grown now. Fuck you only got one at the house anymore out of your fifty eleven kids as I mentioned. Uh five he's five i gotta explain we call it wrestle dudes like i get to explain to him like well that's the good guy when the good guy comes out we're gonna be like yay when the bad guy comes out we're gonna be like boo and you know you fucking watch him and he kind of he's getting it and the guy probably about 40 minutes into it b rob like he was going along with flow and then right towards the end he even took the heel turn like at one point i was like boo you suck and he was like no, I want that guy to win now. And I go, you want the bad guy to win? And he's like, yeah. And I go, okay. And then it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's just funny, man. Like explaining that kind of shit to a five-year-old, you mm-hmm. know, and just being ready for whatever the thing is. It's, it really tickled me. So I'm going to, I'm going to make that a regular thing now. I think. Hell yeah. Independent shows are the best for kids. Whatever. Yeah. Cause like you get around, like how you was talking about SmackDown and all the other shit. That's just that's for adults and older kids and whatnot. Cause you can't bring oh, a little one in there because they wanna they wanna go to the concession stand, they wanna walk around and do all this other bullshit. And bro, like it, you said, there's a lot of talking and commercial breaks and all this other bullshit. You want to take a child to a pure art form known yeah. as independent wrestling. It's fantastic. <laughs> Everybody should go to indie shows. Look in your paper or fucking on the website, Facebook, whatever the fuck. Find a local mm-hmm. show, go see an indie wrestling show. They need your money. Yeah. Not not only go to an independent show and enjoy it, find you one of your favorites from that show and follow that cat or uh, kitten on social media and <laughs> support them because you never know what they'll turn into. <laughs> yeah. It's wild, man. I haven't. I guess I haven't really fucked with a whole lot of wrestling stuff. It's been wild, from what I understand. All this pandemic shit, they had to adjust it now. The other companies are rising up. Are we finna have another goddamn full rivalry happening, Rob? Is that hey, what's man. happening in wrestling? The 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 uh owner of AEW, um, Tony Khan, Shad Khan's son. Uh Shad Khan is the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh shit. And um a couple other uh foot football football proper uh teams like soccer. You That's know? real money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they got a billionaire running this company and he is like a legit Vince McMahon is a businessman running yes. a wrestling company uh, Tony Khan is a wrestling fan running a wrestling company Who happens and it shows because he's just having fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah he's just having fun and he's just like he, he's talking shit for the sake of talking shit he doesn't care like ratings wise or whatever 
But like, because, you know, people will be like, oh, WWE ratings are better than this ratings or whatever. And he would talk shit about the ratings just because he know it'll make people talk shit or whatever. And he's just doing it just for the chaos of it. And he doesn't really fucking care. (laughs) He's just having fun. And I like that shit. I think a lot of people like that. That's why people got into like Bischoff and all the other people that were running shit back in the day. Like you got to have that kind of a brain to make it work. Yeah, well, the thing with Bischoff and all those other guys, they were legitimately trying to run another company out of business. Uh, this guy, Tony Khan, AEW, is not trying to do that. He's just, like, doing his own shit and kind of poking fun at the old guard at the same time. <laughs> okay. Because, like, a thing with uh, WWE is if you work for WWE, you work for WWE. All your rights and privileges and everything are property of wwe llc or whatever the fuck they call that shit oh, uh, man. aew you have the longitude and latitude to work with other companies and other promotions all the fuck you want so it's so, just like back in the day like it's you know you have to lock in yep. well i guess they make enough money though because i know stone cold steve austin's making commercials now <laughs> making sure that he gets signed off on what it is what is it it was a tea commercial wasn't it it was iced tea well speaking of iced tea you was bringing commercials up iced tea doing car shield commercials that's pretty funny actually (laughs) yeah and it's just like cop killer is here tell me about your car's warranty and insurance and everything man you don't be coming out of pocket paying for all these car unexpected car expenses what the fuck what what commercial was that with steve austin and iced tea was it a laundry commercial it was a like laundry i think cold water yeah he's like everybody should use cold water from now on to wash all your underwear stop wasting all the water <laughs> it's like what the fuck yeah man you, you can do a stone cold said that's my iced tea <laughs> not bad we'll do a show together hey i'm stone cold this is iced tea yeah, We're what's up, man? Together. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to use all the cold water. <laughs> yeah. I like- hey, Ice T, how many loads of laundry does your wife have to do to wash them pants for that gigantic ass of hers? I mean, I don't know, man. It's just basically for my loads from busting on all that big ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it takes big loads to cover both of them cheeks. You got to get a couple different rounds in there to make sure you cover them up real nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ice T. You know, one day I'm gonna reach out to him, see if he come on the show just for the fuck of it. Because from what I can remember, I don't know if this is one of those Mandela effect things, and I'm just remember it a certain way. But I believe when his wife was pregnant, when she was having the baby, he was at the hospital with her, and he brought his Xbox and was playing Xbox while she was in the hospital. So I can relate to that because I did the same thing for one of my children. <laughs> a good fucking plan i wish i'd have known i could have brought the xbox i might have done that (laughs) i just got stuck watching atv for like four fucking hours yeah i think for my son uh for his birth and everything or whatever i brought the xbox up to the hospital and just was playing xbox (laughs) so i've never done that we definitely did uh, like movies and stuff because we were at children's a couple times just for different things like the kid he got uh like a weird okay when he was born my wife didn't produce milk so we had to give him formula they didn't tell us how often to do this that or the other he wasn't getting enough fluid so we ended up taking him in and they kept him for a little while like three or four days it's kind of scary but i mean you know yeah. what are you gonna do he was dehydrated so we fucking uh <laughs> we're in there and children's hospital they have these tvs that like on an arm, you can like move them in front of your face so that you don't turn yeah, on the whole big shit. Mm-hmm. So you can watch Disney movies because like Children's Hospital has some shit with Disney where like they stream most of their catalog. This is before Disney Plus, you know, years ago. And uh, <laughs> I remember one night I had to leave because I had to work the next day. And we had been in a solo room the whole time, you know, just by ourselves. And the that evening they moved another kid like into the split room. And yeah. I felt bad because, like, you got to sleep in there and stuff, like, with your kid in the little crib, and you got to fucking hang out. So these assholes move in at, like, 1030 at night, and 
my wife is still not sleeping well because the baby's little. He's I think he was like six months old. That was because he got RSV or whatever the fuck, like some weird shit. Anyway, long story short. Yeah, you got to adjust the antennas. You get a better signal. (laughs) Dude, my wife called me at like midnight and she was in the hallway. She was crying. And I go, what's going on? And she was like, they're in here, these new people. And they turned on the fucking Lion King. And I was almost asleep. She's like, I haven't slept. The baby's been sick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been, I've slept yeah. maybe three hours in the last two days. And she was like, I finally fucking goddamn fell asleep. I had slept maybe an hour. Win, yeah. <laughs> Ma, <see when? laughs> to this day, if it to happens, this day, if you hear it in the wild, if it's on some shit, like we'll just look at each other and she'll just, I see murder in her face because she was like, make it stop. Saying, Midnight, you know, it just, it's a sore subject now, but the idea of it was funny. Like when I got off the phone, I go, that's terrible, but also hilarious. <laughs> Cause mm-hmm. just imagine the movie that you murder somebody to in a hospital is the Lion King. <laughs> You're just in there. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at electric cords and shit. Just choking them up. <laughs> and it moves us all. <laughs> My bad. Music to be murdered by <laughs> Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He came out with a new album today. Oh, Elton John. Elton John today? Well, well it probably came out Tuesday because new music usually come out on Tuesday. I was scrolling to Apple Music and I seen it up there. That's crazy. I think he's supposed to do a concert here, but I think he's not doing concerts. Like he hurt himself or something. I want to see that uh, movie they did about him, Rocket Man. I haven't got around to watching it yet. I haven't either. I haven't committed to any of those. Or the Queen one either. I didn't watch that. Oh, dude. Bohemian Rhapsody is good. Pretty good? Yes. Like, I was kind of iffy about watching something like that. But then I started listening to the music, and I was like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that was Queen? Because, like, I heard a lot of their music, but I never knew who made the music. I just knew, hey, I like that song. It's a good song. And yeah. then I started seeing the, the trailers and they was playing the songs. I was like, oh shit, that's they shit. So I was right. like, nah, I'm interested. See, it makes sense because Freddie Mercury was gay and he also sang about fat bottom girls. He knew something was up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I love fucking, yeah, the, the biopics are rough. I, I think the only one I've seen this that was, I can recall yeah. was, like, was the Biggie one, right? But I don't I've think I've seen, seen it. it. What? Never seen it. It's all right. I had no desire to watch it. It's all right. There's a bunch of them. There's Ray Charles and all the other fucking ones. But Ray Ray was good. I think that's almost the standard. Right. Jamie Foxx is very talented. So I would definitely watch that. But I don't know, man. Like I like Queen for Queen. I understand that he had AIDS and that's sad. I don't want to mm-hmm. watch that. And Elton John's yeah. not even dead. <laughs> yeah. That's that, weird. That is weird. You know, you know what made me really want to see? The Elton John movie, and wow. it was um a commercial that he did for a piano company that used footage and stuff for the uh wow. the movie in the commercial. It's a Super so, Bowl commercial. I remember that. Yeah, so pretty much it was him as a child getting introduced to the piano and everything, and his yep. mom giving it to him, and then just him growing up, and it showed clips from the movie and the song and everything that was how they married it together. I was like, damn, I need to see that fucking movie. It's a sick ass commercial. I remember it. Yeah. Made me want to see the movie, just not enough to want to see the movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I bought Bohemian Rhapsody. That's how yeah. good it was. God I damn. went to the store and bought it. Well, there you go. You should try Rocket Man. It could be good. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get it. I know it's on one of the streaming services, and if it's if I deem it uh good enough, I will add it to the collection. I don't get to watch a whole whole lot of movies anymore, man. I fall asleep. I get up at six in the morning. I'm not bitching at you because I know you've been working nights and shit, but like, I'm tired. I fucking, I put on a movie and I get about 40 minutes and then I just sit there on a the couch and start nodding oh, off. Don't, don't, don't let that, uh, the, the opening credit scenes be too long because, you know, you play some bomb ass music in there, like some super fly shit. And I'm, yeah. <laughs> I went to one of those movie theaters with the, so, with the Kush. Uh, yeah. uh, that's a setup, talk. man. That it is literally, they might as well take money out of my wallet. Fucking, you sell me a recliner seat at a movie theater and you'll bring me steak and a beer. Okay. <laughs> what I, so I'm paying you 
$85 for a nap. That's what's fixing to happen. So cool. Let me, it's <laughs> funny that you bring that up because we had this conversation not too long ago too. People was talking about movie theaters and all that stuff. And I can remember when they first started or uh, when I first became privy to a place to where like movie theater that you can go in and get food and yeah. alcohol. Movie and I was like, shit. Yeah, I was like, this is the fucking this blowing my mind right now. Yep. But I I felt sorry. I felt sorrow one time going to one of these uh late night viewings, me and my wife. So I forget what movie it was we was going to see, but we was in there, we already had our drinks and everything, and we were sitting down, uh just you know, waiting for the previews and the movie to start proper. And there was this one lone dude that came in there, and you could tell he was drunk. He was, you know, oh. kind of sloshing over itself and everything yeah. and he came into the theater found his seat sat down put them feet up and he was out majority of the movie now most people would have seen that shit and you know had a laugh or whatever but i felt fucking sorry for the dude man i felt like sorrow in my heart i was like damn he didn't have anybody that he can come here with to share a beer or hang out with or you know just he came in this bitch got drunk and just in this bitch passed out. Like yeah. nobody to call, nobody to hang out, nothing, man. I just, all these different scenarios to, to why this is happening to this particular dude ran through my mind. I was like, man, this is fucking sad. So you go a totally different direction than me. I, like I said, I opened up with taking a nap. Good night, Hello. <laughs> Good night, child. I have brought dog. Night, night. Good night. <laughs> See you tomorrow. I got the dog in here too. <laughs> yeah, what the dog? Doing? You're poopies. Oh, look at it. Roof. Pretty, pretty pooch. Hey, potato. <laughs> yeah, she called him a potato. Excellent. But good night. And good night. Take your dog with you. <laughs> good night, Meow. <laughs> See, I didn't have the light on. <laughs> That's what it is. Put the light on. <laughs> the kid's so big. I remember just in the time that I've known you. I've known you for like five or six years now, man. Mm -hmm. a little baby. Half <laughs> of that kid's life. <laughs> That's so crazy. I heard you talking about all the fucking the movies and stuff y'all been watching. It's a couple of them were questionable, but I was like, no, nah, she take after her daddy. <laughs> She's a fucking... And yeah. your fucking wife likes horror movies and shit, too. So, hey, that you guys are theater people, like you're movie people. Mm -hmm. I fell out of love with it, dude. Like, I... I started watching Harry Potter the other night. I'm be honest with you. I watched the first Harry Potter movie. I ain't seen that shit in probably 10 years. I sat there on the edge of my couch with my mouth open, just like staring at the fucking TV. Whoa. Uh, what I'm waiting for out of that series uh, is that um, the other prequel, I'm waiting on that third one to drop, the um, Fantastic Beasts, yeah. whatever. See, I didn't I, even watch all those. I watched the first one. It was okay. But like, I really enjoyed the first series, and I've seen maybe – the first three multiple times and the rest mm -hmm. of them has just been the courtesy watch. I need to go back and check them out. Yeah, man. I, I like that series of movies too or whatever. Um, one series of movies uh, in that vein or whatever that I was disappointed with was the uh, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief series that they did or whatever. I read all the books. Books are great, but the movie they didn't do a good yeah. job with. Matter of fact, I seen the movie before I even knew there were books. So I seen the movie first and I was like, oh man, this movie is good. Then I went and read the books and I was like, oh, fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it for yourself. Yeah. It's like, I guess I, I did it to myself by going read literature and things and whatnot. But See, they, that's the thing. Just don't ever read books like me. And then you'll never be disappointed by movies again. You're like, this is yeah. fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm a seasonal reader. I read every now and then. Matter of fact, I just finished reading all three of the Fight Club books. Oh, shit. I didn't even know that was a book. Well, yeah, Fight Club, the movie was based on a, a book. So I read... So the reason I wind up reading Fight Club initially is I take the kid to the bookstore because she likes oh, to read, actually. my mind. I'm going to put a pen in movies and books, but you take the kid to the bookstore because she likes to read. And uh, we're walking around. She's looking at some manga and some other literature. And I come across this one section of a uh, anime or whatever, and it has a book, a graphic novel that says Fight Club 3. And I was like, this can't be like from yeah. the movie. I didn't even so, know there was a Fight Club 1. What the fuck? So I pick it up 
And I'm reading is like the sequel to the sequel. Wait a minute. That was a Fight Club 2? And I'm looking. They didn't have it in there, so I'm on the internet. Fight Club 2. The fuck? I say, so I can't just jump into three. <laughs> so I went on. All right. Fight Club. Start it over. Shit. Eight bucks. All right. Get it. And I read the whole first book. And then the fucking the second and the third thing is a graphic novel. So it just is more of a visual thing rather than, you know, actually reading and whatnot. Comic book shit. Yeah. Comic book with less words. Yeah. So it's just like whatever you remember from the movie, the, like the original Fight Club film, they they because it's a comic book, since it's a graphic novel, they just take that shit and amp it up over the fucking moon and yeah, everything. Yeah. So uh, was his name was Robert Paulson. You know, Bob, he had bitch tits. You know, he died in the movie, right? I've never seen Fight Club. What? I know. I know. I know you're going to be mad. I know the plot. I know the characters. Okay, I've okay, okay. I will, I will, I will, I will say nothing else. I was trying what, to play what? along. Rob, Why? you know, I felt no, like no, I was going to no. write it this, out. This, this, is, this is what we're going to do. This is God what we're going to do. Because I, because I enjoy doing this and I rarely get a chance to do it. We're going to set up a day. Okay. Me and you. Have a watch along? And we're going to have a watch along for Fight Club. I watch Fight Club with you. Work. Sure. Or you can, or we can even do uh, after the fact. You can go ahead and watch Fight Club on your own. And do then like we'll recap. watch it together. Okay. That way I'm not sitting there explaining stuff to you or whatever. Or we're not trampling I over. Little, I hear it's confusing. Um, If you... If you're stupid, <laughs> no, no. It might be. Well, what I was gonna say is, since the book, the book and the movie, since I just re- I just recently read the book, mm-hmm. they did a good job with the movie compared to the book, but the book is slightly different from the movie, especially the ending of it and everything. But it's just like um, they. I seen the movie first and I seen it a long time ago. So I remember it, but I don't remember it like vividly. Yeah. And then going back and reading the book, it was kind of like a reiterate, you know, kind of retelling of the movie back to me and everything. I was like, Oh, I remember this from the movie. You know, oh, the I remember the this from the movie. Fill in the blanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So with the knowledge of the movie, going back and reading the book is just like, Oh, all right. I already kind of know what's going to happen, but you know, they got different, you know, shit in the book. And then, I don't know where I was going with that. It was just like, uh, we need to watch this goddamn movie is basically you know, what I'm getting to. So my other buddy, the one that he gets me on every time and I still haven't watched, I probably have to watch it with him now because I fucked it up, is uh, Training Day. Never seen that either. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. But it's the same thing. I know all the memes and the fucking, yeah, exactly. strong. y'all ain't got shit on me. Like, I know the scenes, mm-hmm. like little pieces, but I've never actually sat down and watched the fucking movie. Well, you get, get you mad every time. We can, all three of us can triple team that bitch. <laughs> I like it. I'll fucking run it by him. That'll be a good time. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, so, I what, mean, t- tell me how you want to do it, because I've seen all these movies already, and, uh, like, it'll be good to get your first-hand experience to watch it with you. But at the same time, I know we're going to want to talk shit, so I would almost rather that you watch it first, and then we'll come in and watch it together. Touch or on how, how, what's your thoughts on that? How you feel about it? I can usually watch along and just kind of go along. It's Like I said, I know I've seen bits and pieces of it already, mm-hmm. so I shouldn't have to get too much explained to me, hopefully. Okay. Subtitles okay. might help, too. Put the subtitles on so I can read what's going on in the background. That helps. I'm going to shoot you a, a link, because uh, me, Jay Sandlin... Uh, and a couple of other people we got together and Delvin Cox, we got together and we watched uh, the the next Karate Kid, the one with the lady. <laughs> DC. We should do that. How about you, me, and DC? We watch fucking uh, what you call her? What are we talking about? The Fight Club? Fight Club. Never seen it. Word. I'm going to text him right now. You should tell him I said it. Matter of fact, look, he's you want to call him? We it's can. 10 o'clock. He's 10 on o'clock. Miami time. Don't forget. He an hour ahead, so it's 10.30. This is funny. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see. I, I've never called him, called him. I've texted him plenty of times, though. <laughs> I love oh, Delvin. He's a funny guy. He's my brother. Wait a minute. Is, is my? I don't think all my contacts updated. I just got a new phone. 
New phone. Who this? Really though. I got Delvin's number. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know if I can call him through this. I never actually tried to do that. You want to practice? Sure. Go ahead. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's see. I turn the volume up. I know I got this motherfucker. Yeah, like I said, I just got a brand new phone, so it's probably taking we'll time. Him. We'll call him All together. Numbers populate. He's probably putting his grandma to bed or something. Here we go. It's happening. Yeah. Can he hear me? I don't know. What up, homie? Devin Cox. What up, man? What are you doing? I was just recording. Everything okay? Yeah. I was talking to B Rob. We were talking about you. Oh. Yeah, he can't hear me though, can he? Everybody got worried. Hey, if uh, can you hear uh, B Rob talking? Hey, motherfucker. You can't hear him? Okay, never mind. Shit. Damn it. B Rob. Well, here, I'm going to interpret. I didn't mean to throw you off. We just had a great idea. I wanted to tell you. We have to watch uh, we have to watch Fight Club together because I've never seen it. Oh, you've never seen Fight Club? No, he says we all have to watch it together and do like a commentary. I'm down with that. Okay, well, you go back to recording. I haven't seen it in years. Okay. All right. <laughs> See, same what? thing. Yeah, we'll do that. I fucking we're sitting here doing a show right now. That's what we're just like. Let's call this motherfucker right now. I ain't never called him. He's gonna think my house is on fire. Yeah, it's like what motherfucker from a podcast would call you just on some normal shit, right? <laughs> hey, he says hello, and we'll fucking see you soon. All right. <laughs> I pretend like you didn't hear him hang up. He was recording a show, he said. Oh, that's funny. I hope he recorded that. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to watch Fight Club, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, I got his number right here now on my old phone. So so here's phone. the thing. Like, with, with the fucking movies, this is going to go a little long, I think. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why the movies suck right now, because everybody's making sequels and prequels of other shit. Like, nobody's There's reading nothing books. original anymore. Nobody's reading books. Nobody's mm-hmm. making movies out of books because at least then you could be like the book is worse or better than the movie, whatever. But it's like they're not even trying with the movies anymore. They're just like, what other thing can we do that we've done? I know. <laughs> well, Dune is a that's out right now. It's a remake, and it it is originally from a book, right? So, yeah. You know, but they're, they're all yeah. from book. Like the good ones, they're all from mm-hmm. books. You know what was the not the burbs? <laughs> yes, with Tom right, Hanks it is. The burbs, not the birds. <laughs> yeah, the burbs is not the. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna look. Let me let me I'm, look it up. See, I don't read books, but like the last movie that I watched that I enjoyed, that somebody was like, "Oh, that was a book, and the book was better." Is uh, that Ready Player One shit? Yeah, that's that a pretty cool movie. You know what? They made they they found that before the book even really pu- before the book got published. No shit. So they made the movie before the book came out. <laughs> <laughs> just because it was like so low budget i guess like nobody no because it was like i guess they really liked the idea and they were just like yeah we want that shit fast forward <laughs> it's a good idea the movie was pretty fucking cool but i did hear that there's certain parts where it gets a little a little much because it's a member berries movie like as you watch yeah. it, you go, oh you shit you're, you're the fucking ninja turtles and chucky holy yeah. tits and holy shit apparently there's scenes in there where it's just mm-hmm. like Infinity War, and instead of just moving on to the thing, they got to be like, and all these other people were here, and then this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and also Superman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I because if the movie got away with a lot of things, and I was surprised to see a lot of that stuff in there because like licensing shit, right? Yeah. But in the book, you can write whatever the fuck you want. So I can imagine they got all kinds of crazy shit in the book. <laughs> sure, the it clown was just holding up, fucking killing motherfuckers left and right. It was a pretty yeah. cool thought. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I wonder if everybody's like me and they don't read books anymore, which is why they can't come up with any new movies. <laughs> well, shit. Well, shit. Speaking of the burbs, I'm on uh, Wikipedia. And uh, it had a budget of $18 million at the time. This is back in uh, 1989. And uh, it box office was uh, $50 million. Oh, so shit. That, that's pretty good for uh, 90s money. <laughs> It's crazy to think some of these movies and the ones that I actually enjoy that tanked like Waterworld 
Most people don't like that movie. I think it's okay. I, I can't remember it, but I, I don't remember disliking it. I've seen it so many times. I think it grew on me. I like the postman too. I'm a Kevin Costner fucking uh, fan, I guess. Oh, yes. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. It wasn't Kevin Costner uh, Robin Hood. Yeah. He, also, the crew? he was Robin Hood. And he was uh, also the dude that was with Whitney Houston in The Bodyguard. Yeah, The Bodyguard. That was an awkward movie of my childhood because my mother took me as a child to go see that movie when it came Excellent. out in the theater. I've been to the movies two times in my life with my mom. Both of them was Whitney Houston movies, The Bodyguard and Waiting to Exhale. And to bring a <laughs> child to, a, and if you're familiar with those movies, uh, this is where I found out what uh, masturbation was. Because sure. there was a scene in the bodyguard to where the dude broke into a house and he jacked off in a bed. So I, I had to remember that part. But that's uh, in the beginning. That shit in the beginning. Will, uh, to give you an education. Yeah, so <laughs> there was a scene in the beginning of the film to where she was having a problem with the stalker. That's when they initially hired Kevin Costner or whatever dude giving them the rundown of what's been happening. And he said the dude broke in the house and uh, masturbated in a bed. Oh, and I, I, young inquisitive me, had to turn to my mother and was like, what's that? She's like, it's when you mess with your thing and stuff come out. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. No paraphrase. <laughs> I like it. And if, once again, if you're familiar with the film Waiting to Exhale, they ain't nothing but a whole bunch of black women fucking. I learned some shit. If I can, I uh... there, like, Mama. <laughs> How did Stella get her groove back, Mama? It looks like she was just letting men inside her. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so yeah, I, I had an interesting kind of scandalous uh, shit. Remember Soul Food? I saw that when I was a kid on like HBO oh Free Pass. Boy. Some of the fucking the shit that was going on in the background. Yeah, it, was, with. it was fucking in their grandmother house in the bathroom. Oh, she put a leg up and she pulled her panties off a leg. I was like, whoa, yeah, that was some shit. <laughs> you don't be fucking like that at your grandma's house. No. Shame on you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Not in your grandmama bathroom. Not in your <laughs> big mama bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Not on top of the fluffy toilet seat cover, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, not the one with the, the, with the, you get the one with the fish print on it. Come on, bro. <laughs> Got that one that's like squishy when you sit on it, pinches your ass. Yeah. If you get the, um, the lined toilet seat or whatever, you had the air pockets in you sit on it and go <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst yeah I mean, yeah. your butt gets sweaty on them shits too man it's just like yeah i've gotten definitely a little more germaphobic like i still wash my hands probably less than i should but like mm. you know <laughs> this whole covid revolution has just kind of maybe be like yeah maybe don't touch that use your, yeah, use your foot you're fine that, that damn <laughs> that covid test is like not comfortable or whatever. I I had to administer one on my child. I had to do it. So it's not like we went to a place and it was like, uh, we'll take care of that. Nah, they made me do it. <laughs> yeah. Stick that in her face and give it back. I was like, yeah, exactly. Because it was the drive through joint. And so it was like, here's your tubes. Uh, stick it in your nose for 10 seconds. I was like, Okay. No, dog. I'm supposed to give you like five dollars, and you're supposed to do this shit. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold my head. Yeah. Go. And then I'm the the kid. I was like, um, I did it first. I did it to myself, fucking tearing up and shit. I got tears streaming down my eyes or whatever. And oh, she's man. like, she's like, uh, what? <laughs> I, didn't sign I was up. like, I was like, lean your chair back. <laughs> and then I'm just like, yeah. And she's like. Oh. Fuck, man. I, I feel weird cleaning my kids' ears with a Q-tip. You know what I'm saying? You get in there, and it's like, I don't know how deep the shit is. You just kind of feel it out. Yeah. I can't imagine going up the nose. Mm-hmm. I knew I hit pay dirt when she had a, like a, a tear, just like, yes, I did it right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw the inside of her eyeball move a little bit. I knew I was poking right up against that shit. <laughs> it's the worst. Oh, Fuck, God. man. Yeah, it's not comfortable or whatever. And it, that's that's how I described it to you. I was like, it doesn't hurt, but it's just not comfortable. It doesn't feel like, great. Kind of like butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly the same thing. You're going to hate hurt. it. 
at first. Just, just, just doesn't feel right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> I, I can say that because I had to get my prostate checked. So there it is. <laughs> it wasn't a penis, so I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah, is your prostate doing okay, Rob? You're getting old, you know? Yeah. And it was home. funny because, like, after I got it done, I, me and my wife was driving by the place where I got it done in. I was like, hey, look, you see that place over there? She's like, yeah. I said, that's why I got my butthole touched. <laughs> touched. And she's like, oh, okay. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But okay. <laughs> I was traumatized. But it's cool. I'm not, like, holding it in. And I'm not crying about it. I'm just saying, you know, that building right there. I got my butthole mm-hmm. touched. I remember that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a learning experience. I got to learn more about myself that I was okay. Nothing inside of me is bad. <laughs> it's wild, man. Having a finger in your ass. There's a lot of things go through your mind. It's mostly like, I hope this doesn't take very long. <laughs> mm-hmm, exactly. The, the thing. Exactly the thing. I've been fortunate enough to each time it happened, because it's more than once, yeah. uh, that it's been a woman. So, <laughs> See, that's what sucks at the doctor, too. Is like If you get a finger in your ass, you're obviously at the hospital or the doctor, so it's like you don't really want a finger in your ass at the time. Mm-hmm. I would see, like, maybe if this was a Thursday and I had already had dinner and it's like you know, you, bed or something, you, like, like to me, it is like you can never feel clean enough either. It's like I'll take a shower, go in there, and then right before I know it's about to happen, I'll go to the bathroom and I'll do some courtesy wipes. Oh man, I need to get you a bidet code. <laughs> you need to get you some of them shits in your house. Uh, yeah, I mean, because I'm, I'm I'm baby wiping it over here. Oh, dude, baby wipes are cool too. That's that's the best way. Like, if you don't have time for all the water shit. I got a hot water bidet. It'll shoot you right in the butt. It's nice. Mm-hmm. It's like a fan. You, see, like a. You got the. Uh, you got the add-on, or you got like the no shit toilet. Uh, excuse me. You got the add-on bidet, or you got the no shit like. No, no, no. Those toilets are like three thousand dollars. I got, I got. I went to. Lo- I should have known better because I went to Lowe's looking for one. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, so I with the sponsors go to biobidet.com, Use promo code POBOYS. You should know this by now. Mm-hmm. 10% off them things. And hey, it's, it's, shh, don't tell anybody. I can cut this out. It's October. So they're giving, it's a pootacular. You get it? Pootacular. You can get like 20% off plus my 10. You get 30% off some of that shit. The one that I got was like 200 bucks and they yeah. sent it to me after I sold like 10 grand worth of their fucking bidets. And, uh, yeah, man, I got hot water. It started with the cold, like just the base model. Mm-hmm. And that was cool until it got cold. And then it was like, yo, this water is too cold to be <laughs> on my asshole. <laughs> this is not okay because now I'm cold. <laughs> my insides hurt. <laughs> like getting brain freeze in your asshole, man. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> so no, now I, well, it's weird now to say it out loud because it's like, Brain freezing your asshole is no good, but also, you know, like piss water warm is is better, but it's still kind of weird when you're sitting there and you're just like waiting for yeah. it to go, and then you're just like, okay, we're doing. Yeah, that. I, I don't, I don't like that. I, I didn't got high sedity in my old age too. It's just like you, you, you are. It's it's almost like a uh, Adam and Eve with the freaking the fruit and whatnot. They ate the fruit and then they gained all this awareness and shit, yeah. right? So now it's just like I can remember being young and just going to take a shit and water splash on my butt and I don't even think about it. But nope, I was like, wait a minute. mad about I, it. I was like, I peed in that water. And that water is splashing on my ass. What the hell is this? <laughs> so now if I go take a shit and I piss in the water, I flush that shit. And then I, I the poop. Same, I do the same thing. <laughs> For sure. I don't want to get pee on my butt. <laughs> that's yeah, gross. I don't pee on my butt, my balls, none of that. <laughs> so that's what happened is I ended up having the thing. Like I wanted to check it out. And then we one thing led to another. And I tell you what. Now that everybody gets up at six because the baby has to go to fucking school, I can use my bidet. I use it every fucking morning, man. It's awesome. You go in there, you sit down, you fucking handle your shits, you press a little button, you get to drive your shit to the car wash. <laughs> Just do, 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 do. It's great. No, it's not like that. It's like the first one was just straight out of the water pressure. And let me tell you something. I got water pressure in my house. That's one thing that I got. The only thing, if nothing else, I got water pressure. It take chrome off a fucking bumper, dude. <laughs> and so dude, the live the live wire was literally like 
a pressure washer, like not the ones that like are gas powered, but maybe like a like an electric pressure washer, okay. like you know what I'm saying, <laughs> like the, like, the, like the water guns with the batteries in it. Pretty good. No, yeah. no, no, but like fan spray, like that was Ooh. the thing. And so it was like you'd sit there and you turn that motherfucker. If you turned it past one, like there's three notches, you know, and one would go what goes to your butthole, and the other one goes to vaginas. Like that's the thing, because it was four. You fuck around and hit that one, and it comes at a different angle, and it'll fucking hit you right in the nutsack, <laughs> right in the back, right, just like ball bag beam. You know, do, 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 do. <laughs> speedball your fucking balls against the rim of the toilet that's no good so no i said i need i can't deal with the little 50 dollar one like i need the nice one with the fucking options and dude it's changed my life i feel great i wake up every morning i'm clean <laughs> it's fucking great because it's a it's a mess i'm yeah fat I, and hairy and gross yeah i i can i can i can i understand because I, I was wet like my ass my crack is just wet i'll sit down in chairs Fucking get up off the thing, leather chairs and stuff like that at work. It's embarrassing as fuck. I wear dicky shorts. I'll be sitting there hanging out. And when I get up, it's like my butt has just left like a fucking, like a handprint on the fucking thing. It's just a perfect little Y shape of my crack. And I'm like, why is my crack so swampy? It's so <laughs> muggy up in my butt crack. <laughs> is this goddamn ozone layer? Goddamn God damn. climate <laughs> control, all this shit. Climate change, all this crap. That's why I tell people buy them shits, man. I, fucking, it, I needed it, <laughs> and it's working great for me. And fucking, if you've ever wondered about it, or you know somebody that's been like, I've been thinking about trying that shit. Just do it. Plus, mm -hmm. if they run out of toilet paper, you won't have to worry about it as much. You still need some, otherwise you're gonna be yeah. dabbing your butt with a sock or something, <laughs> or whatever you got in your reach. Yeah, but it's nice. Yeah, I, I went to Lowe's thinking that, like, you know, see how much it would cost if they had them. And they didn't have none. They, I think the highest price toilets they got up in Lowe's and Home Depot is like four fifty. Oh, no, dude, go on. Fucking go on that website. You use some of the codes. I'll shoot you the email they sent me the other day. There might be some shit in there if you're interested. I don't know if you and your lady have talked about it, but if I can yeah, tell we, everybody you should get one. <laughs> yeah, we're replacing that. We're probably going to replace some of these toilets up in here. So. Might be a good option. Yeah, I'm gonna send you the email, motherfucker. You use the code anyway, and give me that extra couple. Of, give me that extra couple of dollars. Yeah, we could do that. I'm gonna get my gun. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I gotta go pee. Well, that's Fucking, it. I'm gonna try to smash out my wife too. I think it's. Been oh yeah, man. We, we need days. to put a pin in it then, because I mean. It is uh, almost the 10 o'clock hour at my residence as well. And I know in 15 minutes is uh, lights out for Mrs. B. Rob. So I might be trying to creep in that, that basket as well. Listen, so I don't know if you know this about me. I'm not very handy. Just not something that I'm good with. Everything I do in my house is crooked. Like mm -hmm. just a little bit. If I hang it, if I paint it, if I tape it, it's always just a little crooked. That's my thing. About three months ago, I had to fix my washing machine. Oh, buddy. Had to reset. I thought it was just something simple, like the uh, the little springs that hold it in place, and it turned out to be the whole goddamn assembly with the little dangly, long hanging shits. Now we'll say this: it was forty something dollars for the the kit. Maybe mm -hmm. it was eighty dollars. It was a little bit more than I thought it would be, but it saved me hundreds of having to replace the washing machine. Yes, my wife gave me a blowjob that night because <laughs> she. Enjoyed the fact she enjoyed the fact that fucking I was handling some man business, fixing the goddamn washing machine because it was about to cost us a lot of money. Oh yeah, oh uh, I, I yeah I feel you on that or whatever. I don't know what that is. That's like catnip for ladies or whatnot. You you do some hands on shit or whatever. And they just like mm. look here, look here. <laughs> so our dryer's been dying lately, it's making all kinds of racket. I thought maybe there was a wheel fucked up, like it was squawking and squealing getting louder and she says some shit i said i don't give a fuck that's outside you know i don't hear it <laughs> loud as shit and yesterday i was like all right i'm gonna take this shit apart Ugh. i came home today and i took that shit apart by the way dryer not hard to take apart it's like three yeah. or four volts oh, you, yeah. you look you will look like a ladies man if you take this shit apart saw the problem got the parts i fixed that motherfucker in like 20 minutes 
put it back together and I sent her a picture of it and I was like, you motherfucking dryer's fixed. You ain't got to spend that $500 no more. <laughs> she was making plans about having to like go to her mama's house with wet clothes and drying them and shit. It's like, don't worry about that. Like, uh -uh. <laughs> COVID has, has led me to fix two or three major appliances in my house. It's pretty nice because any other time I would have just been like, fuck, now I got to call somebody that does man shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly, man. They're like, building this shit damn doing all that shit in the backyard yeah. fucking uh tearing apart uh garbage disposals and putting them shits back together via youtube and That's all this what, other crap youtube is saving marriages man it's getting yeah. handing out blowjobs to wives all across the fucking world <laughs> yeah yeah it's like here's here's a coupon <laughs> that's right well hey do you have plugs? Anything you'd like to tell people to check out? It's going to be a while before this comes out, so as long as you're still around, well, don't die. Yeah, not, not, it's not really going to be a while. It's probably going to be this Sunday on my end. <laughs> well, that's probably true, too. That's what It'll be a surprise in fucking eight weeks when this shit comes out. And people go, oh, fuck, I heard this months ago. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But you can follow me on Twitter at 3RShow. And if you want to see the antics that I get into in my uh uh, hollowed halls of walmart you can follow me on instagram at the three r show and for anything else that you may be interested in you might want some cool merchandise themed with the rambling realms with rob and all that other stuff or just different ways to help support the podcast which you should support support my podcast and his podcast which i'm pointing the wrong way if you're yeah. looking at the video po boys google search it so uh you can search up on the po boys and uh for more about me you can go to random rob Dot com. Excellent. Love you, buddy. Glad we got to fucking hang out. I'm going to stop this recording. Yeah, and then we're going to watch some motherfucking movies. I'm happy. That's uh, you, Do you fuck with Discord much? I know you've got the yeah, thing. I, got I don't know if I'm still in there, but we use Discord for that shit a lot. Yeah, yeah. I got that crap. There's all kinds of... I know you're a techie person. Like, there's some yeah, shit in there. I got all, all kinds of robots and... Man. Yeah, I got all kinds of shenanigans in there. <laughs> that I don't use. <laughs> it's probably why I haven't fucked with it. Exactly. All the tricks. I'm not smart enough to deal with bots. I just go in there and talk Ooh. shit to strangers. Hey, and... University of YouTube. <laughs> it's fucking wild. I think my uh, I think my kid's trying to fuck his kindergarten teacher. What? Not really. Just saying. He's good. like father, like son, I guess. So. <laughs> I mean, you know the woman. I get you. No, I got you. So he fucking uh, he come home today, and we got a notice like in our email that said, I guess there's some kids in there that just, you know, they're not. It's kindergarten. I can only imagine. It sounds like my personal hell. Twenty fucking five year olds. Mm -hmm. No, no, thank you. And. uh she said some of them just aren't getting it. And I guess they had a bad day today where some of the kids were acting up and shit. And uh, Tucky wanted to make her feel better. He was like, I want to make her a picture. We're like, yeah, Aww. that's sweet. I can draw a picture, dude. You know, hang on. Let me get my phone. Oh, you got it? Oh, yeah. I didn't see this shit. See, like I said, I think he's trying to smash. So here's the back of it, right? It's Miss Kibby. Oh. <laughs> I said that shit to like my my dad group, you know, and uh they were like, oh shit. Is that hopefully Oh, he made he made himself tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well that's what so here's the thing. She's a short, kind of pudgy lady. Here, here's a picture of her, I guess. But I said, uh, <laughs> I guess he was just trying to be nice. But at the same time, all the, the the he did a good job on that picture. He did it in like a minute, not a minute. It was like ten minutes. But still, he sat there and kind of he colored all the shit in. Like I wouldn't have done that at five. I was barely coloring shit inside the lines. He filled all the background in and put a sunshine in. It's like put damn, a, put a sunshine in, yeah. <laughs> put some sunbeam in her life. Mm -hmm. She's short too. That's the thing. He's fucking oh, hound dog. 
he's not far off on the fucking height. It was just somebody, or it might have been Delvin. He was just like, oh man, I hope that he didn't draw her. Like, I hope she's not actually that shape because <laughs> she might not like that as much as you think. Well, he made himself that shape, so he good too. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We're the same. Look at us just being silly. Oh, fuck that. Well, 